Hello, hello everyone. So today is a very exciting day because it's Christmas. Okay, it's not really Christmas, but it might as well be. What it actually is, is we are on social distancing time because everyone is home right now because of, you know, the chaos in the world. So anyway, we're going to have our own Christmas here because I have That's right, five palette full packs to unbox. Now, why haven't I been unboxing them? Good question. Life is hard. I've been busy. So I figured what better time to do it than now when we're literally stuck inside and can't do much else. So I'm going to open up all five, see what's inside, make something, and yeah, let's have fun. Today's beverage is a LaCroix. It is a berry because in hard times, well, one always needs a LaCroix. And it looks like here we have Artist Oil Color, Payne's Gray. This looks like it's by M. Graham and Company. All right, so it seems like we have quite a few of these. We have titanium white. We have some walnut oil, canvas, art alternatives. Um, we have another art alternatives cotton canvas panel, another 8x10 classic cotton. This one is a stretched canvas, ivory black. A very long paintbrush. Look how long this brush is. Like, okay, this is the 8x10 canvas, and it's like, ooh. So, yeah. And then we have an Art Alternatives palette knife. So, I don't know. I'm not too jazzed about this one, to be honest. So I'm kind of glad that we are that we're looking at a lot of different ones today, just because I don't know. I have a bunch of canvases. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just already have oil paints. Oh, wow, this is September. Okay, so we have M. Graham Artist Oil Color and then M. Graham Walnut Oil. Most oil paint need you to use solvents to clean your brushes. The Renaissance masters didn't have to use solvents and neither do you. Walnut oil effectively removes color from artist brushes and is a natural vegetable oil that doesn't evaporate and remove essential oils from the brushes. The addition of walnut oil to your oil paint will slow drying and hence slow and increase sheen. Okay, that's cool. Um, and then this Robert Simmons White Sable brush, $10.25 brush. That's a lot, that's like more than I spend on a pack of brushes, but I don't use nice brushes. Um, and all three paints are valued here, $32.97. This is $7.42. We have the palette knife, which is palette knife retails for almost five bucks and I'm sure some people got this and don't have oil paints and stuff and we're very happy and you know what oil paints are like a whole process because they take forever to dry you got to do a whole bunch of stuff and since this is our Christmas and we're just unboxing a lot of things I kind of just want to go on to the next one and well I'm making the rules so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna put this aside okay next one next one go away Time for the next box. So let's see when this one is from. I don't want to actually look at the things yet because I like being surprised when we open them, but okay, this is December. We have acrylic paint. Golden fluid acrylics. Um oh maybe we can read about them. They're created by loading an acrylic polymer binder with concentrated levels of pigments. They have the same pigment load as heavy body acrylics, but a viscosity similar to heavy cream. I don't know. It weirds me out when like paints get compared to foods. I love food and I love paint, but uh, I don't know. Gross. So we have phthalo blue, green shade. Oh, that's weird. Is this not blue? I don't know. Oh, wow. It looks like they s actually swatched the paint on here. I was wondering if it was just like something they printed on there but I can feel that it's there so we have 
at blue we have Ben oh geez what is this Ben Benzema oh this why is this this is a hard word guys Ben Zima does alone yellow medium okay and then we have Qu Quina Quinacridone magenta I don't know okay and oh I can know this one titanium white wow another one of those brushes from Mr. Robert Simmons a bottle oh a spray bottle I mean again you can literally buy this from the dollar store like this doesn't need to be included in here because they probably have it marked up as like a much higher price to be like oh it's adding to the value again we have canvases we have oh the artist panel okay this isn't a canvas this is a a panel a smaller panel and this canvas which is I don't have any shape like this so Art Alternative 6x12 Economy Cotton Canvas Panel. Alright, let's look at our list of things just to see. So we have the Fluid Acrylics. Yeah, again, it says consistency similar to heavy cream. Ugh, gross. Okay, apparently these four little paints retail for $32.06. Then we have another Robert Simmons White Sable Brush. Guaranteed for life, just as they were when Robert Simmons introduced them in 1972 again 1025 we have ampersand smooth primed artist panels and they are great for oils acrylics and mixed media a wrap resistant non-flexible alternative to canvas and apparently both of these panels together are only 441 and then this canvas 295 and they say this spray bottle is 299 we'll get out the classic mixed media sketchbook they're very smooth i like these paints i like this brush i like when they send a nice brush i think is what i'm concluding because like i said i don't really buy nice brushes but i do enjoy having it and i think that's because a nice brush doesn't immediately like speak to me in the store it doesn't seem fun like a a paint or something so I guess that's good that that's one thing I don't impulse buy but I like having it like the bristles aren't coming out or anything well obviously Huga is probably the good choice I don't know how to paint that but if you haven't read like any of the books about being Huga highly suggest all right before start let's have a refreshing sip of LaCroix <laughs> Now I just got a thing on the paper. This is going wonderfully. Overall, I like these paints. They get, I don't know, thumbs up. I don't have a rating system, but I could have skipped the canvases and the spray bottle, but that's just me. So let's go on to the next one. Pennyberry. I guess that means there's pens in here. I guess this is January, which this excites me. Because as everyone knows, and if you don't know, well, I love pens. Oh, yes. All right. This is great. I'm just going to take everything out. Yes. Pens. This is from Art Alternatives. Artist Pencil Pod. Protect, store, and transport pencils, pens, and small tools. Well, this is nice. I don't know that this is something I would have bought for myself. Let's see if everything we got fits in here. No. Still, it's like this is a nice thing, and I wouldn't have bought it for me. We have this. Stonehenge White. Now, I actually have one of these, because I was just using it yesterday. Yep, it's the exact same pen, but you know what? It's a pretty good pen. So this is a Pentel Sign Pen, and I know this is a hard brush tips. Very nice. It's just a nice hard tip brush pen, kind of like the the Tombow Fudenosuke pens, but different, different brand. I like it. 
This one says brush sign pen artist, also Pentel. And this looks like it's actually a brush pen, whereas this one isn't really. This one I think is actually a brush. I like that. It's not what I'm used to doing lettering with. I'm used to more something like the first one, but that's awesome. Ooh, and now the same pen again, but in gray. The same pen in blue. Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. I've seen people use these on YouTube and I've seen them in the store. I don't really know what a pit artist pen does. I can look it up probably. Famous for combining a modern brush nib design with the traditional medium of India ink. It feels like a fine liner, but a very nice fine liner. A fine liner I am pleased to have. So the Stonehenge white paper pad. So I guess the people that put together this box knew that it was good for pen and ink and so they include it. The pencil micro brush sign pens, black boot gray, like your favorite paintbrush. These microfibers have excellent spring and snap. Brush tip is ideal for drawing, detailing, lettering, and journaling. I wouldn't journal with this, but I would letter. The water-based dye ink also allows you to create washes with a wet brush. See, I see people doing things like that, and I suppose I could, but if I wanted to use that, I if I wanted that, I'd just use a watercolor. Regular brush sign pen, feathering, cross-hatching, calligraphy, detailed line work and outlining, brush tip wipes clean with a paper towel. I guess it's good to know. We have the Pit Artist Pen. Yeah, they've brought together all the advantage of drawing in, in Indian ink in a modern and uncomplicated disposable pen and offers unsurpassed light fastness, perfect for sketches, journals, cartooning, and finding drawing. And then we have the storage pod. Um, oh, the prices. This is about 18 bucks, the paper. All three of the brush pens are about 15 bucks together. And then the Pit Artist Pen on its own is about 360. And oh, the regular brush pen is about three bucks. And then this is 1095. Designed to hold approximately four pens or 12 pencils. That's the thing though, it's a little bulky for like just carrying around four pens. And honestly, if I threw this in my bag, I'd be afraid to get scratched up. I don't know what I want to use this for because it's very nice though. It deserves like special like place of honor. Penuary. Make a pen drawing based on your interpretation of the daily prompt. But let's pick 19, video game. So of course I had to go with Katamari because obviously, I mean, it's tattooed on me. It's my fave. Yeah, okay, I'm not loving this necessarily, but very pleased with the pens. In past months, Actually, probably not in any of the ones we opened today, but in months before this, we've gotten a lot more value for our box. Like, I remember the October one that was in between all these. That one, we got a lot of inks. Like, that was great. That was a lot of, um, as they say on Instant Hotel, which if you haven't watched on Netflix, it's very good. Value for money. But working with what we have here, I like it. I think we didn't get the most stuff, but I like... The contents. I oh, love pens so much. I kind of wish maybe they would have included something different than this. I like it. It's just, it's not like practical enough to get, I think, a ton of use out of because it doesn't hold that much. But it's not fun enough that, like, I'm okay that it's impractical. Box four of five. Box four of five. So that should be February. We have a bowl very nice again like i don't really need this art crayon mixed media marabou art crayon watercolor crayon we have another pack oh so we have lovely red and green jungle a paintbrush oh a couple more of these art crayons and black and white ready cut watercolor paper 10 sheets Art crayon is a buttery, smooth, wax-based, soft pastel. Create rich textural solids at 100%.
blend in stamp colors for beautiful backgrounds or brush with water for transparent effects or reductive techniques. Watercolor paper. These sheets of 500 series premium watercolor paper pre-cut into standard sizes. The Princeton, oh, Artiste Select Brush. High quality short handled brush is made to last. Robin's egg blue colored handle. This will be a beautiful addition to your existing brush collection as they go above and beyond many other brushes in the market. So basically they're saying it's blue and it's pretty. Oh, and this brush retails for about six bucks. This paper is about 12 and the crayons, the sets are $14.99 each and the individuals are $3.99 each. Plastic water cup, ready to blend your art crayons with water? Fill up this cup with a little water and you are ready to go. Oh, am I? Like, I have cups and things. I don't need this. Well, it says it was only 85 cents, so at least it wasn't like, you know, something that they're using to justify the value of the box, but I'm excited. Um, however, this watercolor paper, like, it seems really nice and we only get 10 sheets, so I'm not going to use it right now. So let's just go ahead and test them all. So smooth, so smooth. Why don't we see how they blend and how we can smudge them around and stuff. So we have that one and then say, put it, but you can smear it out. That's good to know. I was expecting it to be a little bit more like smudgeable and it's not, but I don't hate that. Now let's try blending. Do -do -do -do. And now do we blend them like this? Take this one and then just sort of blend them together. Make them fade into each other. Yeah, that works. If I wanted to do it with a paper towel, let's see if we can do that. A little bit. Yeah. Putting water on it now. All right. So that's a thing we can do. I don't know. Again, this kind of confuses me, right? Because like. Wouldn't I just use watercolors if I wanted this effect? I mean, it looks like a watercolor, but I could just use a watercolor and then I wouldn't see like the original splotch where I, I colored. But let's say I want to make it more, you know, watercolor. Okay. I mean, it's nice. All right, I just sketched something out real quickly. I'm kind of pleased. You know, at first I was not that excited about the painting on them because I was like, well, they could just be watercolors. Like, why don't I just use watercolors instead? But. I don't know, it was pretty fun. And we are on to the last box. This is the March box and then we'll be all caught up. Ooh, I was just using some of these, another pack of stumps and tortillions. These are a thing that I have, but I always use them sparingly because I'm like, I don't want to use the good things. But I have this problem where I never want to use my good supplies. So I'm like, oh, I'll just smudge with a paper towel. I'm going to save like these for the good art. But then I never really make the good art. I never know when I'm actually making that. I don't know, like never, but so that's great. Love having more of these. Little Red All Art Sharpener with Canister. This is fine, but I have a pencil sharpener. Like, I have a bunch of pencil sharpeners. I don't know that one is better than the other. All right, and then we have Rembrandt. General selection of soft pastel half sticks. Oh, I see. They're little sticks. We have these, which are We'll read about them, some sort of pencilish thing in different colors. And then, oh, I love that we get full size paper. Very nice, a Strathmore pastel. So I think that I have probably gotten one in these boxes before. But just because we got one of these before doesn't mean that it's not nice to have one again. We're getting pastels again. Um. Soft Pastels, half stick, 10 piece set. 
They are world renowned professional quality sticks manufactured with only the purest pigments and finest quality cowl and clay. And then we have the paper, assorted tints. Oh wow, the one I had before didn't have assorted tints. These are indeed assorted tints. We have some grays, some browns, some tans, some off whites. Carbothello pastel pencils. Handled brush is made to last with its robin's egg blue color. Mmm. They messed up. That's from last month. So we'll go back to those. And then the sharpener. It says this retails for $239. Okay. Oh yeah. The paper, $835. These $20 for just this? These better be good. This pack retails for $749, but there's 10 of them. Um, okay, let's look up these. All right, they're soft pastels in pencil form. Do I want to test them on the pastel paper? We only get 24 sheets. I know what we can do. Well, these are the Carb Othello pencils by Stabilo. And green, I like these a lot. They feel very nice, and I like that your hand doesn't get all messy like pastels. Shall we try to use the stumps and tortillions? Do we want a stump or a tortillion? I don't know. Let's go with the stumps because it says that these are not as abrasive as the others. And I don't know that we want to be abrasive. So, yeah. Shall we see the difference between that and a tortillion? Okay, similar. I know what if we want to blend. But let's blend it with the stump. That looks nice. The only thing is, I think, then we sort of have to go over the whole thing. Let's try these. I don't really know what I'm looking for. They seem nice. Like I said, I sure hope they're nice because $20 for this little thing. I would never buy this on my own. Let's try again with the blending. The stump. Here's the tortillion. Oh yeah. A little bit of a difference there. I'm just gonna wing it here. I haven't sketched anything out yet. So you know what, for fun, I'm going to try to apply some fixative and then see if I can go back and continue working on this. And for fixative, I'm going to be using Hairspray from the dollar store. That's a trick that a real artist friend of mine taught me. I would say that's pretty fixed on there. Okay, well, my hands are a mess, but there's the final thing that took many hours to do. It was a really good use of a social distancing day. I'm gonna drink half my LaCroix. That's not good for hydration purposes either. Oh no. In general, this was a really fun day. Just opening stuff and playing. Like I said, it was kind of like my own personal Christmas brought to me by me, from me. I hope everyone is doing okay in this weird time. Cheers with your beverage of choice.